Would you wear textiles originating from wood? Would you? Should you? Why wouldn't you? We would. This is a tree, and these winter accessories could be made from this tree. Of course, we would need to add some science to convert wood into pulp, dissolve the pulp, and press it through the spinnerets like water through a shower head. To put it simply, this is how tensile fibers are created. But why do we use trees? Why not just use grass or other plants? Believe us, we ask ourselves the same question over and over again and also explore different options. In theory, you could use every plant to make fibers, but the magic lies in the plant's ingredient called cellulose. But theory and practice not always walk hand in hand. In our industry, things that work in the lab sometimes don't work for commercial production. Some materials are not available in sufficient quantities, while others are not available in every season. And some processes are just too dirty for the environment. Trees are so beautifully simple because the components that need to be removed to make dissolving wood pulp are concentrated in the bark, which is easily removed and does not require aggressive chemicals. But there's more. The use of wood in the pulping process creates something that we desperately need in this world. A lot of bioenergy. We are sometimes asked why we wouldn't just use old clothes as a raw material and let the material circulate. We would, and we could. Chemically recycled cotton textiles are a promising alternative to wood that we are also using and investigating further. But the necessary value chains are not yet in place and there are several technical challenges that must be overcome to scale up fiber production. It could take a few decades until we can dress the world's population that way. Using wood as a raw material is a century-old tradition and a process with many benefits. Wood for tensile fibers comes from regions such as Europe, the USA, Brazil, Chile, and South Africa. It always comes from countries or the neighboring countries of a pulp-producing entity. We are sourcing wood from multiple regions because it lowers the risks of raw material shortfalls. This, of course, is nothing unusual in the times of climate crisis. Wood for tensile fibers comes from forests, semi-natural forests to be more precise, and from plantations, which are simplified fields where a tree species is cultivated, mainly eucalyptus because it grows fast at high yields and has a high cellulose content. This is simply the efficient use of limited agricultural space on this planet. From a field with eucalyptus trees, we get approximately five times as many fibers as from the same field area with cotton. Well, we are sourcing wood from semi-natural forests in Europe, in the USA also to a large extent from semi-natural forests. The trees which grow there are typical regional species such as beech, spruce, birch, aspen, southern pine and even maple. But we all know that wood is not available in abundance. Nothing is endless on this planet, and this is something that even wood can't do. It can't solve all the systemic problems of the economy. This is the reason why we use it very efficiently and are picky and demanding about sustainable wood sources for tensile fibers. We take care and we apply due diligence. This sadly means that we have become sometimes awfully bureaucratic when it comes to wood and pulp sourcing. We ensure legal compliance, but we also require from suppliers to comply with our wood and pulp policy, and we also inspect them with respect to requirements of forest certification schemes. We promote sustainable forest management. This means that we only take from nature the amount of wood that can grow back. It wouldn't make sense to do it any other way, because we need the wood for today, but also for tomorrow. Less than 1% of the global wood supply is used as a raw material for fibers, for these winter accessories, approximately 1 kilogram or 2.2 pounds of wood is needed. Would you choose wood as a renewable raw material for your textiles? If not, what would you choose? What is the right raw material that fibers should be made of? No matter which item we take into our hands, the raw material for it probably did not just fall from the sky. We do what we can to protect forests. No matter how much we do, we would and will do even more. We are still on our journey, but we know that we are moving in the right direction. We would, with wood, tensile.